So let's cover a couple of points. I mean, number one, you know, when we look at the world now, you know, we're not seeing the world how God created it. You know, we're seeing an imperfect world. We're seeing a world that God, he originally created perfect, um, but man sinned and brought in a curse. So, uh, you know, let's look at this verse in uh, Genesis 1.31. Um, it says here, And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. So it's interesting that you, when you read through chapter 1, it talks about, you know, God saw everything, saw everything, and behold, it was good, behold, it was good. And then eventually we get to verse 31, and it says, God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. And, you know, Christians that believe in evolution, or Christians that try and hold to the idea of millions of years of death and natural processes in order, and, you know, God used that. They'll say, you know, uh, they believe in a God, but God used evolution in order to create the world. Well, it wouldn't make sense, because if God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good, but up until this point, there was millions and millions of years of death and disease and pain and suffering. I mean, how could God say, how, how would that even make sense if, if um, evolution were true? And you know what? If evolution is true, if, if evolution, if God used evolution to create the world, then, then they would be right. Then God is a monster. Because if God needed millions of years of death and suffering in order to create man, I mean, that's not a God that we would want to worship because that's a God that, that you know, it didn't create a perfect world and then man brought sin and death and suffering into the world. It was God that used sin and death and suffering to create the world. So if evolution is the total opposite of what we see in the Bible, uh, Romans 5 12, it says here, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Uh, Romans 7, 24, Paul writes here, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me or save me from the body of this death? So God created a perfect world. In the beginning it was very good, but man stuffed it up. And the way I explain this to people, you know, I'll say, you know, when you look at a wrecked car on the side of the road, let's say it's a wrecked Honda. You don't say, well, why did Honda create a smashed up car, right? You, you realize, no, Honda made a new car, but somebody smashed it up. So it's the same idea here. When we're looking at the world, people say, well, why did God create this world with so much death and suffering? No, God didn't create the world like this. Uh, God created it perfect, uh, but man stuffed it up. 